Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Good, and in today's video, I will be talking to you guys about how I got the vintage smell out of my Pouchette accessoire. So if you're interested in videos like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post three times a week, so you don't want to miss this little face. And then also, if you end up liking this video, please hit the thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get started. I bought this bad boy off of Poshmark. I don't actually suggest Poshmark for buying pre-loved luxury goods simply because there are a lot of fakes on Poshmark and I don't like sifting through. Um, but anyways, when I purchased this, the listing didn't say anything about a smell. However, the bag, when I got it, definitely had a smell. Um, some websites would probably call it a musty odor. It definitely didn't smell musty. It smelled more like, like a old library book that had been like sitting on some shelf in an attic for like 20 years. It's kind of how the bag smelled and it was very strong. So when I first got the bag, I got it in, um, it didn't come in like a dust bag or a box or anything. It just came in like literally a plastic bag and when I undid the little like ziplock opening the smell just like hit me I was like oh my god what what is that smell and it, it again it, it didn't stink it's not a stinky smell it's just more like a very vintage old odor so I did a little bit of research I was like okay YouTube, don't fail me. What do people do when their bags have a vintage odor? And I found some information that said to use vinegar, that vinegar is a deodorizer. And if you have your bag absorb vinegar, it will get rid of the musty odor. So I wanted to try it. So I took a Ziploc bag. I put a towel, a paper towel soaked in vinegar inside my bag. And then I also put a paper towel with vinegar on the outside. And then I made it as airtight as possible and I zipped it up and I let it sit for a couple days and then I came back and my bag still smelled old but with a vinegar smell. So I was a little bit disappointed. I let the bag air dry. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I, I did it right and it, the smell was still there. So then I did a little bit more research and I saw people throwing their bags in the washing machine. And I was like, oh my God, who would ever throw their bag in the washing machine? Who would do that to a Louis Vuitton bag? Me. I did it. I got fed up. I was like, all right, I'm tossing it in the washing machine. I don't know what else to do. And I literally threw my bag in the washing machine. I put it on a cold cycle and I let that bad boy go. So I got out the washing machine. I even put it in the dryer. Which I'm like sure you're not supposed to put it in the dryer, but I did. So I took it out the dryer and it smelled like snuggle mixed with old vintage. So yes, the washing machine knocked some of the smell off of it, but really the smell was still there. Like I could still smell that vintage odor. So then I did a little more research and I came across a lady who literally was just like, just use your bag just use it and I was like mm, I don't know if that works for me I'm trying to get rid of the smell I'm not trying to like walk around with it so I took one of my favorite perfumes and I literally just like doused my bag I just sprayed the whole bag with perfume and then my bag smelled like perfume and old vintage so after that I kind of gave up I was like okay Either I sell it and I just let the, the buyer know that, hey, this has a perfume and a vintage odor, or I just, I live with it. So I went ahead and I tried the advice to just go ahead and live with it, to use the bag, and I made this my everyday bag. I mean, I use this bag every single day. I used it to take my son to daycare. I used it to run errands. I took it out of town. I took it to the zoo. I took it to the park. I took it to the restaurant. Anywhere I went, this bag went. And honestly, that seemed to work the best. Now, if I go like this and like really take a whiff, I can still slightly smell the vintage odor. But besides that, I don't smell it at all. And it's not that I'm just used to it because I have plenty of other bags that don't have the smell, 
But yeah, when I have this bag, I don't smell the odor. Um, I definitely think using it helps. Um, also, if you do have a favorite perfume and you don't intend on reselling it, now if you do intend on reselling it, I probably wouldn't do the perfume thing. But if it's a forever bag, um, I, I don't know. I like it. Um, take it everywhere with you. Make it your everyday bag. No places bar. Just take it with you. And literally the smell will just go away on its own with use. Now I'm not saying that about every smell because some smells might really be like pungent. And maybe that won't work for that. But honestly for me, I kind of felt like I started to torture my bag. And I didn't want to do that anymore. I just wanted to love it. And I do. And I'm totally happy that I decided to keep this bad boy. And yeah, the vintage smell is gone. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And also if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. And remember to be good to yourself. Bye guys.